There's a feature in Google Drive called Get Shareable Link. If you select a file, you can find the option in the link icon near the top right or by right clicking on the file and clicking Get Shareable Link. But what does this mean? When you go to Get Shareable Link and toggle link sharing on, you'll see a note right below that tells you now who has access and what level of access do they have. So in this case, in Stony Brook University domain, when you turn link sharing on by default, that means when you copy this link, Anybody who has that link and signs into Stony Brook University with a Google account can now view your file. In some cases, that's fine, but in some cases, that's way more access than you want to give a file. So what are some alternatives to using the link sharing or when is it appropriate? First off, if this is appropriate when you need to get the link quickly for a file that anybody at Stony Brook University would be okay viewing. In that case, this is a perfectly fine way to use this function. You turn your link sharing on, it'll copy the link to your clipboard, and then you could paste it into an email, for example, and send it out. Anybody at Stony Brook who gets that link and signs in with the Google Kink would then be able to view that file. If you don't want that, what you should do is go to the Get Shareable link for your file and turn that off. And instead, go to Sharing Settings through this option here, or you can click on the file and go directly to Share, and then click on Advanced. And once it's set so only specific people can access your file, and if it doesn't say that, you can go to Change and make sure only specific people, off specific people can see it. You can add in the names of the people that actually need to access this file and the level of access they actually need to have, and then click Send to share that file with the people that need it. Here's another scenario. Sometimes you've already shared the file and you just need the link so that you can give it to them again as a reminder. Here's a couple of great ways to do that. Open the file, copy the link from the address bar, and then you can send it to the people who already have access to it. Or from within a shared document, you can go to the file option and say email collaborators. And this allows you to send an email right from the document with the people it's shared with. And you can select or unselect the people that you actually actually want to include and send the message to yourself too so you'll get that as well. Another thing some people don't realize is that you can use a tool right in Google Mail to both get the link for your file and to share it. You put recipients in your message, click on the Google Drive file icon near the bottom of the compose window. This is going to allow you to attach a file from Google Drive or you can actually upload a file from your computer to Google Drive to share it. You can use a search to find the file you're looking for, click on it, and it will add a link into this email to that report. Now here's where it gets even better. When you click send, it's gonna prompt you if there's anybody in your email who doesn't already have access to the file and allow you to share it right from email. So sometimes this is the best way to do it because you keep the sharing with only the people who need to have it and you get a link to the report all in one go. And if you click on send here, it will share the file, whatever level you specify, and send out your email. So if you think about this and realize, wow, I've used this gift shareable link or I've overshared files, I want to unshare them. One of the things to note is that if you use the get shareable link option as Stony Brook, when you click to turn that on, this is going to make it so that anybody who actually has the link can view it, but they won't be able to really search for your file and find it. However, if you have shared something with get shareable link, and if you go into sharing settings and you change the access here, go into more and you set it so that anyone at Stony Brook with a link can find it and access this, then you've opened it up to search so that now all of a sudden anybody can actually search for this file and find it. If you want to make sure you don't have any files shared accidentally like that, you can find them in search. So click the drop down in the search drive and select owner owned by me and in location instead of anywhere say visible to anyone in stonybrook.edu and click on select and then search. And this is going to show you the files that you have that file sharing on, that sharing link is on, and it's set so that anyone at Stony Brook can find it and view it. So if you do this search, you'll find anything you've shared. And if any of these things shouldn't be shared that widely, you can right click on them, 
go to get shareable link and turn that link sharing off. Go to sharing settings then and advanced and just make sure anybody who actually needs access is still on the file and it's a much better way to share things that shouldn't be open to everyone at the university. So try out those techniques and remember get shareable link is really only appropriate when it's totally okay if anybody at Stony Brook finds that file link and looks at it.